Hi, I'm Dr. Mark, and I'm going to help you sing and perform more like the top artists around the world. I'm a professional voice teacher, performance coach, and opera stage director. I've helped thousands of singers around the world learn the techniques and methods that got the top singers to where they are. I've had a lot of fans and subscribers ask for me to review Piet Arion, and I might be butchering his name, my apology if I am, and his singing and performing. So I said I would, here we're doing it. Excited to see what there is to see. I haven't really listened to him before, more than a clip here or there when I've just had a second to kind of see what's going on, but I haven't really watched him in much detail. So let's see what makes his performance of SOS so awesome. Now, before I start, how do I know it's awesome if I haven't watched it? Well, obviously you're asking for it. There's something you like about it. Obviously, he's got a lot of people who've watched this video. So people have got to be liking something about it, right? That's what we're looking for. The temptation is when we're watching someone is to find the things that are wrong or bad or why people shouldn't like it. If you want to be a future performer, the better skill is to look at the top performers, the people where people are watching, they get excited about it, they advocate for it, they get to be a diehard fan and try to learn what it is that makes the fans respond that way and incorporate it into your own performing. Where do you think it's the right thing or proper or whatever? Learn and take everything you can from all the top performers. And that's what we're doing here. So one way or the other, there's gotta be something awesome going on here. Let's see what it is. Here we go. Breathy sound. Airflow is consistent though. Jaw, I'm not seeing any tension there. He's keeping it really speech like. Lips are relaxed. Tongue seems relaxed. Shoulders seem relaxed. Obviously, the purple and him looking down captures some of the mood. Really simple, but effective. Excellent. You see that eye change? See how his eyes came up? Do you notice what your emotional reaction is to that? He started looking down, and then when he looked up, there's something that happens there, right? We're moved by that. A subtle but very expressive gesture. Even though there's not a whole lot going on here, that makes that even more important. Big shifts in eye direction should go with big shifts in the music or emotions. And he set up a big shift here. Cool. Gorgeous stuff going on here. I mean, this is some really gorgeous singing. Something we can learn from here is the temptation on the lower notes is to use a large quantity of air and a lot of space and to try to make it sound that way to get those very lowest bottom notes. I think you're going to find if you make sure that you're keeping that air moving really fast, just like we do for the rest, really, really fast and not overly open here in the back on that lowest, you're gonna find that you're gonna add a few extra notes there in the bottom. You'll notice here, he's actually keeping this jaw relatively closed, not super wide, and relying on that breath to keep those vocal folds phonating and to create that sound. It's working really lovely for him here. He does keep the place a little further back, which keeps it softer and warmer and richer. And you'll notice as he's going up, this ass space comes back in. The bottom notes, he kind of had an O oh space, which lent that warmth and softness and back. Then as he went to that middle high, he transitioned to the A. Ah. Top teeth came out, jaw released, and voila, there we are into the middle high, and then a really nice, smooth transition all the way through. That breath flow staying consistent, no push, pull, or grab in the abs. 
that's how it works. Awesome. Now, the other thing that's really cool is that he's letting his mouth be expressive and his face. He's not forcing it to do anything, but he's allowing it. He's not putting tension in it. He's not trying to be overly dramatic. At least that doesn't look like it. He's just tapped into the emotion of the song and the world of the song and give himself permission to do that. Try it, try it today. Going through and in your own mind or even out loud saying, I give you permission to be expressive. I give you permission to be human, to be silly, to be serious, to make mistakes. You're gonna notice if you're that deliberate and give your mind and body those cues, it'll actually start to respond for you. Even though it seems a little silly and like you shouldn't have to do that, there's something about it. So give it a try, see what it does. Watch his tongue. Notice how that tongue's staying flat. It's staying so the front part is touching the back of his bottom teeth and the sides of his tongue are touching the inside bottom teeth as well. Staying nice and flat, no matter what sounds he's singing. Yes, it's changing shape. I don't mean to say it's just staying flat and doing nothing, but in general, it's staying that spread out, flat, passive tongue. Awesome. What can you do today to learn from it? Look in the mirror, watch, see what you're doing, see if you can get it to stay that way on any pitch. If you can, you're gonna find that a lot of the strain and stress that you're feeling in here just disappears. It's an ah, but really, everything except the tongue position is ah. If you were to turn the sound off, you would expect that to be an ah. Top teeth, jaw release, 80% of yawning smile, ah, space in the back, really whiny, really buzzy, just try going, yeah, 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 and see what happens, right? And you're gonna notice that slowly, just by making efficient noise up there, you're gonna find that place you need to find. And it's not gonna feel as big and hard and effortful as you think it probably should, or when we're watching, we think it might be, not. Keep it really effortless and comfortable here, really speech-like, just making efficient noise. Made the high note softer by pulling the placement back. Still kept that jaw release though, that tongue release. You didn't see any big tension moments creep in. Kept the air flowing nice and consistent. Wasn't pushing, wasn't forcing. Just trusted the air to do its job. Trust your air. Don't try to force it, don't try to push it. Just trust that if you keep it consistent, a little bit of air traveling fast, you're gonna get a great sound and it's gonna unlock notes that you didn't think you ever had. How do we get a more operatic sound there? Why didn't it sound as pop as the first time? A, he had a vibrato. B, it was not just this ah place up front, but it was also open in the back. So placement wise, it was forward and back at the same time. There's a real feeling of stretch this way, but there's also a little bit more height in this back. Um, say, yeah, you'll notice that openness in there, that tall space, that's gonna help us get a little bit more of that classical sound in there. Um, and consequently, we did. Cool. Pourquoi je vis? Pourquoi je meurs? Pourquoi je crie? Pourquoi je pleure? Je crois que
really awesome love where he's going with it the extra flair he's adding in there he's just keeping everything really released really open that airflow consistent and it's just gorgeous it's gorgeous to watch too if i had one thing that i wish was different I'm not saying it's wrong I'm not saying it's bad just my own preference i wish he'd open his eyes a little bit more in terms of performance technique and engaging an audience closing our eyes is actually really selfish it's self-gratifying it feels great for ourselves we can focus we can really pay attention to what we're feeling and doing that way but it shuts our audience out so learning as a performer how to feel those same emotions with our eyes open and if we are going to close our eyes for a few phrases maybe a phrase or two maybe a section of a song maybe that's still pushing it would be my preference and i think the audience would re react better to that and enjoy it more again does that mean it's bad no that's where he's going with it but I think if he was to change it different, I think we'd react even better to what we're seeing here. But again, still so expressive with his face and with his body. Seems so relaxed at the same time. Awesome. Okay, so what are some things that you can do to start exploring those higher notes? There's a few things. One, we got to work really hard not to give in to the reflex to want to close or clamp down here in our throat. One thing you can do to start that is just go, yo, yo, who, and you, who, getting a, that air moving and keeping that kind of oh, open place there. And you can try it up there on a yeah, yeah, and explore that. Just start playing with it. Again, not trying to make a pretty sound, just trying to make the sound and pitch up there while keeping it easy. Beauty and making it sound great is easy if as soon as we can make it easy here everything else is not hard to achieve that said here the other big thing to notice is that we got to keep that airflow consistent we got to keep those abs from wanting to grab and get tight and push the air out those are all things that are going to limit that higher range that are going to maybe feel like they get you a few extra notes but really in the long run they're going to keep your vocal folds from changing and creating the shapes that you need to be able to get and unlock those really higher notes in a way that's still easy consistent and sustainable so when we're getting those higher notes um we're talking about airflow and consistent airflow you'll see here that i'm using a smaller diameter straw uh this is the size of a stir straw you can find them on amazon this one is uvu straw they generously donated it to me um so that i can use them i use these straws all the time and you can see a link down below use that i do get a small kickback if you buy it with my link which i'd appreciate it helps me to buy more but even if i was getting nothing this is awesome. It's cool because you'll see there they make it with a little chain here so you can wear it around your neck, which might seem silly, but it's really helpful in the practice room because with the little plastic straws, they just get lost and, and it's hard to find them and then you don't have what you need when you need to. So they're really awesome. I'm going to do a quick demonstration of what you're wanting to do. There's three big elements you need to pay attention to when you're using the straw. Number one is you got to keep these abs suspended. Put a hand on those lower abs if you can, or just pay attention, make sure that they're not collapsing too fast or grabbing or getting tight Two, keep this open resonant space this 80 percent of a yawn even though we're using the straw really really important third big thing is we're going to put our hand in front of this straw and make sure that the airflow that we feel come out of it is staying really really consistent if we feel it pulsing or revving up or decreasing those are all bad signs those aren't what we want we want as we're changing pitch going between pitches and on each pitch that it's like as we're singing an entire phrase that that airflow is just constant and consistent the whole time that there's no change in this so let's try it together so it's going to look something like this we can do it on an actual song or we can do it on just kind of making noise this is also really great if you're talk a lot and or if your voice is fatigued this next exercise is one you can do that is great for helping you release some of that stress and tension in your voice it's going to feel like you're just revving your voice just woo, 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 right but you're doing it through straw keeping it consistent so it's gonna be something like this okay as you listen here you'll notice at the start it wasn't super stable and it's a little rocky at the very start and then as i did a little more it got a little more consistent a little bit smoother that's the value of the straw 
even once you get it, it's just great to warm up with it because it helps you find that place really fast. I find that it just helps me get to that balanced place a lot faster and keeps me from over singing. I know it sounds like I'm doing a commercial. I'm not. I'm just trying to advocate how awesome this is and that it's worth the energy and effort to get a hold of either a stir straw or one of these awesome little guys. There's a bunch of different kinds. So the next exercise you want to do, say you're doing a song. Cool. Again, keep those abs out, the space open and filling that air pressure, making sure it's staying smooth all the way through. Then the next thing you wanna do is you'll wanna do one phrase with the straw, then the next phrase on a vowel, like a yeah or yaw. Yeah. Right, and then back and forth. You get the idea. If you'll do that, you'll find that it becomes easier and easier to kind of go between the two, find that balance place, and then you can add words in. Again, the key being keeping these abs out, the space open, that airflow consistent. This is just a way where we can feel it. Our body can process really fast the velocity and quantity of air that we need here for the human voice. So check it out, Uvu Straw, go online, get some Sir Straws, test it out today. I think you're gonna find it's really awesome. The other cool thing is, I wanna point out, if you're using this and it starts to yodel and not make sound, it's actually a sign that you're over singing. You're pushing too much air behind it and you actually need to reduce the amount of air that you're using. I think as, as soon as you do, you'll find that all of a sudden you'll be able to make sound again. So another cool thing is with these guys, you can't over sing. So it's a great way to warm up and find that balanced place. Try it, see how it does see what you're able to do and the sounds you're able to make. Be silly, make silly sounds, pay attention, make sure it stays easy here. If it's easy here, then it's a sound that we can use sometime, somewhere. If you want a voice lesson or performance coaching, want me to work with you or your group to help you sing easier, perform at a consistently higher level, book a time with me at mrperformingartstudio.com. You can also find me on wizio.com if you want to send me a short clip for me to react to and to respond to. And don't forget to click like and subscribe. Hope to see you next time.